don't have any intro music yet, so just pretend it's here. Ba -da -ba -da. A great big hello to everyone watching this, and welcome back to my Ori and the Blind Forest series. It has been over a year since I last put a video out on this uh, game, and I'm gonna be honest, not my finest moment as a YouTuber. But since the sequel is coming out soon, I figured this would be the best time to dive back in. I bought the game again on my Switch because I figured it'd be a good idea to refresh myself on the controls and the story and stuff like that. If I'm being honest, I thought it would be a breeze to get through since I've played it before. Turns out a year was a long time. So I struggled with puzzles I had already solved and I died. A lot. And I cried. A lot. And right as I was getting a handle on the controls, the switch dock stopped functioning, which means this next section of gameplay I'm going to have to do on my computer, which means I'm going to have to relearn the controls all over again. But that's enough of my whining. You have waited over a year for this. So without further ado, let's get right into the game. So when I originally played the game, I was playing it like in chunks, so there would be a period of time between one video and the next, which meant that I was receiving the story in like segmented bits, and I think that playing it all the way through has actually made it more impactful, and also has given me a lot of questions for the spirit tree. Hey bud, hey, why weren't you a little more careful with your li- you know what? You know what, I'll- it's fine. It's fine. It's- well, it's not fine, but it's fine. I'll ignore it for now, and then if we get to talk to the spirit tree, I'm gonna ask him a few questions. Why was that big light burst at the beginning that killed Kuro's children even necessary? Like, what was it accomplishing? Because it seemed kind of just like a show-offy thing, and you murdered some babies with it. So I would just- I have some questions, I would like some answers. This game is also like playing it again reminded me of just how visually stunning it is, and I love it so much. Okay. What are the controls? What are my controls? It is so much harder to move than I remembered, remembered. This is going to be a huge problem. I still, like, I forgot that I can't change the controls and that is, that's insane. That's an insane thing that I can't do, that I can't change the controls because they're bad. Like, the sprint button is awful and I just, I will never get anything done. Uh, this is, I miss my switch already. I'm just sitting. I'm just sitting here looking at it, too. It's so sad. It's just here. It's just here. It's just sitting here. And it's like, come play me, Allie. Come play me. Oh, you know my controls so well, and it's not even hard to, like, go to them. Oh, no, come play me. And it's just, it's sitting here taunting me with its, like, goodness and ease of use, and it's frustrating. Look at this. Look at this. All the buttons in easy access. I don't have to break my pinky finger trying to reach the dash button. You know, you know who's probably very good at this? People who play piano because they stretch their long, beautiful fingers and they can just reach all the keys and they've got Ori just dashing around. Meanwhile, here I am trying to bend it at a goddamn 90 degree angle. Okay. Does anyone else have problems with the PC controls or is it just me? I genuinely like, I, I don't know, man. I am stronger than ever, and I just almost killed myself by jumping into a bush. Par for the course. You can't touch me, peasants. Try as you might. I wonder how long I can blame my incompetence on the controls. Uh, but I'm gonna go with forever. No, thank you. No, thank you, sir. No, thank you, sir. And madam, this is gonna go. Hey, you can't just respawn. When I'm sitting here trying to figure out controls, it's disres- It's honestly, here's the problem with the monsters in this game. They're disrespecting me. You know what I mean? Like, they just- They don't understand <laughs> that I am a struggling person. And I just need them to cut me some goddamn slack. Great. No, this is really good. This is super good. It's- It's- You know what? It's fine. I'm thriving, in fact. Oh! No! No! Dang it! Okay. 
please, please, if you are listening out there, the creators of Ori and the Blind Forest, this is a beautiful experience. Please let me remap the keys. Please, in the sequel, let me remap the keys. I am in physical pain. Cool. <laughs> I definitely should have died, but I will take it. I will take any victory that I can cheese my way into and then immediately die right after. Oh, shoot. All right. What's up? Please get out. Please leave. P cannot stress this enough. P please, sir, leave. Please leave. Please? Thank you. Okay, so I, I got... I got the little Floridas. I've collected more Floridas. It's very exciting for me. I win a presidential nomination at this rate. <laughs>I can get life points back that I immediately lose by not pressing a button. This is good. This is no, this is great. This is really good. I'm oof, yeah, love. I love death. Uh, <laughs> Let us leave. Let us leave. Every single for years, Avatar the Last Airbender has ruined my heart, ruined my soul. I can't hear the phrase, let us leave, in any serious context where people are like begging for their lives, etc, etc, in like movies and TV shows and stuff, without immediately thinking of that scene from Avatar the Last Airbender. It is a scourge on my life. People will be like, wow, that's really insensitive. This is such a terrible scene. Why are you laughing so much? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm just not well. Please die, sir. All right, I don't know why I'm calling all of them sirs. They're not all sirs, but I'm just calling them sirs. Have I uselessly gendered these things before? I don't know. I feel like I had names for some of them too. I can't remember my inside jokes, they're all gone. Did I have any? Did I just say nonsense? Probably both, but now, I can't even reference the nonsense inside jokes if I wanted to. No, please. <laughs> I can't, I can't do anything. I can't, I'm so excited. I figure one thing out and then immediately die, which like feels like just life in general. That feels like some sort of life metaphor, but like, Jesus Christ. You figure one thing out and then you die. I feel like I'm, what is like the opposite of, I'm a demotivational speaker. That's what this is turning into. That that is what this experience this experience is turning into a jaded demotivational speaker. Do we ever find out what the spiritual significance of this Florida shape is or is it just kind of there? I'm going to double like my death count was like 300 when I started this. I'm like at 368 now. It's I'm going to double this. I I have less than half the game left and I am going to double my death count before the end. Yeah, I just don't have the fine motor control required. I don't know why I saved you, but I did. You feel important. Am I supposed to do something with you? Ugh! Oh, wait a second. Do they, uh... Does this little baby... Hold on. Oh, tight, tight, tight. Okay. I bet this guy, um, I can use... No! Son of a bee. Okay. <sighs> Son of a bee. Quick, let's do this. Pulling up my sweater, getting my sleeves ready. This is game face, baby. Game face. I gotta get this tumbleweed to go block some explosions or something. Remember that thing where I was like, oh, I guess I can't go here. That's what this is gonna be for, right? Here, I knew, I knew who called it. It was me. As soon as I saw this big old tumbleweed, I was like, you gotta do something. Unless they just gave me a tumbleweed to remind me of like the futility and, and loneliness of the mission I'm on. Although I feel like that. You know what? Actually, I wouldn't put it past this game. This game enjoys hurting my feelings and making me sad. So, you know. Ooh. Wow, that's... You know what? That one's new. I jumped over the object protecting me directly into death. There's like a two little millimeter gap where I could have killed myself and I used it to its freaking fullest. So that's really cool and... Oh, shitesa. Okay, come on, Scheisse. Apparently I've been cursing in German, didn't even realize it, but not only have I been cursing in German, I've been doing it wrong. But Scheisse just feels good to say. Scheisse is apparently how it's pronounced. Sche no! God damn it. 
Okay. Well, we've got two babies over here. I'll just take one. No, don't! Nope. No! Don't! This is- No! No! This is turning into a horrible, horrible game. I hate it. I'm not gonna do all this again, are you kidding? Okay, <laughs> fun. I love, no, I love, I love suffering. I love suffering. I need to save again so I can have full health to kill myself with. You know what I mean? Like, it's more fun. It's more of a challenge to die if I, if I heal myself. So I'm gonna, mm, mm hmm Or maybe it's not, you know what? It's actually not more of a challenge to die. It's not. I'm just doing everything so slowly that it's like painful and like not, and there, there's definitely a better way to do this for sure. I just, I can't, I can't. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a big fat old save. That's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna heal, we're gonna heal ourselves like the cowards we are. We're gonna, you know, abuse the souling system and just save ourselves. Ooh, hello Florida. Oh God, son of a bee. Okay, come on. Time to abuse the souling system a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Oh, I should, oop, did not mean to pause it. I should have died. I should have died. Oh God, oh Jesus. Hey, by any chance does the game get easier from here? Cause that would be, that would be real swell. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. You know, I would really, if the game wanted to like just chill for a second, I would love that. I really, really would. The spirit, another sacrifice for Nibel. What voice, Nibel? What voice was I using for this fairy? Flew through the air, she soared through the sky. Her world knew no bounds until the forest turned blind. Uh, by blind, do you mean blind in their overuse of power to the point that they killed a bunch of little baby owls? <laughs> Oh no, you mean blind and like you lost your you lost your spirit. All right, magic girl transformation. Great. Consider death maybe. Hey bud, have you considered have you met her uh, have you met my good friend Death? Cuz that's who that is. All right, let's just get the hell out of here. Holy shit. Time to save a bunch. So I guess just stick around for the next 20 minutes while, I, while I'm busy doing saves. It'll be so much fun. Dash. I feel like dash would also work. I really do feel like this is just dash, but fancier. Okay, this is just... Why do you punish me like this? What have I done to deserve your wrath? Probably abandoned the game for several months. You know what? Abandoning the game for the for a year is actually a very good reason to be wrathful, I guess. Whoa! Hey, what's up back there? I see you. It is weirdly beautiful up here. I like it. Holy cow! No wonder Caro is avoiding this place. The sunstone still radiates the light that she fears. The light that killed her children, you know, that your papa made. That light, the light that slaughtered her entire family. <laughs> this does look like lava. I'm not sure I should be near it. Like, I already did the floor is lava game. I don't need to do it again, but it just, I don't trust this glowing floor. You'll have to forgive me. Oh God. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're good. Using this legendary rune, you can gain entrance to Mount Horu. I'm so excited. Okay. All right. Whew. I think. Does that mean that we're into the end game? This is actually really raw for me because I did just replay it and just replay this part. I don't need to see it. I know. I know. Oh my 
I keep Kuma to find a place to belong. Nuru! <laughs> oh, my baby girl! <laughs> Sorry, oh my god. Okay, I really, like, put on a lot of mascara for this, so I need uh, to not. I need to not. I need to not. So I need to just, I'm gonna take a quick breather. I will be right back. <laughs> She's alive! Oh my god. And we're going to end our video there. I cannot believe that Nauru is alive. I just, I'm trying to figure, like, I don't understand like the logistics of it fully like I how long has she been dead at this point I mean I guess we did see Ori get revived by the tree you know what you know what I just changed my mind it doesn't matter first of all it's a magic world why am I trying to analyze this but secondly Nauru is alive and that is what matters so I'm not looking too deeply into it Thank you, Goth Mike Wazowski. That was so beautiful and an absolutely amazing moment. I'm not gonna make this outro too long because I am dying to get back into the game. So I am going to just cut it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, do all that stuff. And I will see you in the next video, which will be very, very soon. So I will see you then. And I do mean very soon this time. The next video will be out like the day after this one.